Oh man, I need something to drink. Today's sponsor is Moscow Mule by Monster. If you haven't had it yet, you need to get you some. Without the alcohol, but with all the energy. Just kidding. I wish Monster would fucking sponsor me. <laughs> Hey yo, project car check. Are we live? All right, y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? Today we are doing kind of just a tour. Uh, I just wanted to show everybody kind of like some of the projects and things like that. You guys seen some of the motorcycle stuff and I haven't shown all the motorcycle stuff. This won't be all of the car projects, but definitely stay tuned to the end because um, there's a little sneak peek of something special, special that's gonna get done by next year, so we'll see. One of the projects, uh, this is my 2007 Grand Prix GXP with an LS in it. got this originally because this was going to be my summer daily car um, it's a little miscolored right now i actually bought it and it was this kind of i don't even know if you could see it uh, let me see if i can find like ow. i don't even know if you could see it but let me see if i can find a spot where it's kind of flaky if you look i don't know if you can look somebody put a little bit of work uh, let's see if we can do this if you look at it kind of there's a lot of flake in it it actually was custom painted uh over the burgundy uh, that is the factory paint for this car. Um, somebody put a little bit of flake in it to make it a different color. Um, what it was was it was wrecked and we actually bought a second one as you can see that was white. Um, so the second one was white. Uh, we ended up getting rid of that one because just didn't want to have two projects um, and I needed the body pieces and we were letting that go. So what I did was I stripped everything off the white one as you can see here and I'm gonna go over. So I stripped everything off of the white one if you could look. So um, somebody put like gold pillars on it. It has a sunroof, little cool things like that. Um, the interior is nice. It's got like this suede insert with the leather seats. Uh, the radio was already torn out when I got it. Um, GXP dash, obviously. And then you can see this is all custom painted, which is nice if you can look. I don't even know if the camera will pick it up, but this is all custom flaked out with the burgundy body color, which is nice. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it that way. Uh, my plans, well, my plans you'll see, um, but I need to get this old girl cleaned up. Um, I have just a lot of issues getting this thing up and running. Uh, we needed tires that were hard to find. Couldn't find any used ones, so I had to buy one online. And as you can see, it's flat now. Um, this is Aurora. We're not going to go into that. <laughs> that was supposed to be just a put-together car, and it wasn't done. So, big-ass boat again. Big-ass boat. Um, but this is the back of the car. Uh, as you can see, Grand Prix V8. This, again, has the LS in it. It's front-wheel drive is the only downfall. Um, so, my big thing about this was it's going to be my summer daily driver, and unfortunately, I got 63, so kind of lost a little bit of interest in this, but I still want to get it up and running just to have another car to drive. I like this car, this platform. It's kind of a sleeper car as well. Um, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Um, it has boiler exhaust, cold air intake already on it. Um, needs is just like some TLC. So I've been working on it over the years. Uh, if I go into the trunk here, as you can see, I've had lots of parts that I put in. These are shocks that I've already put on. I got to put the other side on. I've already done brakes to it. Um, it was dyno matted because uh, somebody had a system in it, which is cool. I got a little bit left to do and that'll be up and running. Basically, um, I, it had aftermarket taillights and I, I basically swapped them out for the factory ones off of the white one. Um, and then the white one had some nice wheels too, but I decided to keep the wheels on this guy 
just because. So only thing I have to do right now to this car is gonna be, um, I'm gonna do the strut on this side because I already done that side. I did brakes on that side. I have to do the brake pads on that side. Um, once that's all complete, I'm gonna do a wheel bearing as well. I've already done a wheel bearing on this side because the lugs got stuck. So I need to replace the lugs on all four, or yeah, all four wheels. I got a new tire um, and there may be a power steering link. I don't know. So we're gonna see what happens with that um, and get that fixed and patched up. And then it'll be time to start getting it cleaned up. It is dirty because obviously it doesn't go anywhere. It just stays here next to Mr. Mr. Boat, Mr. Boat, Mr. Car, Mr. Boat, Mr. Car. So they're buddies right now and they're chilling together. I apologize if the audio is kind of crappy. I'm waiting for my mic to come through. Um, you know, uh, eBay sucks. <laughs> what can I say? So I ordered one and the guy, it just got lost. So I'm waiting for a new um, adapter to come and the audio for the video should be a lot better. Um, but with that being said, let's get into the next couple other projects that I have. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. This car I'm gonna introduce is just my GS300. I forget what year it is. Um, it's probably about early, maybe like an 03. Couldn't keep going. This car has a little bit of a backstory, so we bought it wrecked again. Um, we had a guy paint this fender. I actually was in St. Louis visiting a friend, and <clears throat> somebody actually had a fender online. I couldn't find one actually around town. So I bought it from him, brought it up. We got the car inspected. It passed the salvage inspection. Then I actually put these headlights in from eBay, which sucks now because these are all LED. Uh, they're really nice. Tinted, smoked, but they painted it, and then all the clear coats now is kind of chipping off but uh, i put the bra on there so it doesn't get chipped up this car originally uh, i was going to just keep the drive to go around town you know or things like that tires are flat Ugh. tires are flat so i gotta get them pumped up interior i don't have my keys on me oh no it's open interior is still you know in great shape i need to get it cleaned up though um but we need to get it running um, basically the timing was done and I believe it's off so we just got to get it situated and back on for timing and then it should be running great again backstory on the GS 300 so my ex actually had one of these um, right towards the end of our relationship she bought it and I got to drive it like once fell in love with her car then she started hogging it we'll just say that to be nice you know who you are <laughs> if you're watching this so after that I always said I was going to get one of these cars just to have because I wanted my own. So never thought that I'd be able to just grab one and have it. So, uh, you know, for this, you never know if this car sticks around. My mom wanted the car. I think I'm going to get it to her. Um, but if this car sticks around, I'm thinking about maybe doing a turbo kit. We'll see. I just don't know if I want to get down into that lifestyle. But, you know, it's something I always wanted. Got it. You know, and was able to enjoy it for a while and it should come back pretty strong so everything's done now maintenance wise we just got to get it right for the timing and then we'll go from there so uh, moving on all right y'all last but not least as you can see behind me this was my bay it got caught in a fire <laughs> literally caught in a fire inside the building like the fire truck bike so I wanna get right
This car got caught in the building with the fire truck bike. Only downfall was this car had no windshield because uh, somebody, we'll just say me, decided to fly down the street about 50 miles an hour and forgot to latch the hood and Fords or <laughs> and Fords like for the hood to pop up as you could well you'll see it in a second the hood definitely is not the original hood that was on this car I'll pop a picture up to show you what the car actually looks like or looked like in its all-time glory for a hot two seconds when I got back but yeah it was pretty bad I literally was hitting it going down the road and foosh it popped up should have got hood pins I know and that was the end of the windshield well went to go get the windshield replaced because thinking like oh yeah it'll be great the valley that the windshield actually sits in uh, was bent a little bit so the guy couldn't repair it so then that prevented everything so now uh, I'm gonna flip this around now you can see there's another windshield <laughs> um, off of the donor car that I have here. Unfortunately, I pulled everything out, was getting ready to do it, and somebody broke into our camper that we have sitting here and moved it and cracked a god dang on windshield. And I'm saying god dang because I'm being kid friendly. Uh, this hood is definitely not the original hood. I have the other hood as you've seen probably by now or you'll see in the pictures. Uh, this is the original bumper. It's a 94 Mustang GT. It's actually from Texas. It's the only reason I keep this car because it's been a lot of frustration. So no rust and like, as you can see like it's a little bit in disrepair. It, again, I had different wheels on it. I had all kinds of cool stuff planned for this. But it's either put a bunch of money into this or buy the C63. So I bought the C63 because this will always be around unless I get rid of it. But it's also a Mustang and I don't want to kill anybody in the crowd. So. <laughs> Let me show y'all what's in the inside. So the inside was pretty nice. Had a decent old man steering wheel, but I was going to swap that out. I actually put a switch panel in there before the, um, right now the fuel pump died. So I got to put a fuel pump in it. It had racing seats. Again, this got all nasty because it was sitting inside of a building and it just kind of got gross. It had four 12s in the back, which banged, but we were going to make it even worse, uh, which we probably still will. I have all this stuff. I have a new radio and then I'm going to put it all back together. It's just the time and spreading yourself thin through all these projects. Windows were tinted. I've yet to drive this car for over 30 minutes. This car sadly enough this is one of the cars and i'll post another picture i've always wanted one of these cars since i was probably 13 14. i always said in my lifetime i'd get one of these cars <laughs> there was a fire or two under the hood so there was a fire or two under the hood um as you can see uh, i did a different distributor i did also different valve covers i went to summit and got all this edelbrock um holly uh, carb uh, and the Edelbrock intake um, So it had some decent go fast parts Funny 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 story about this car. So let me flip this back around This car I actually did not purchase. I actually traded a pothead kid for this that Said he did business down in Texas and he needed a reliable car to go back and forth if I can find the picture, I'll post the picture of Barry White, which is my Cadillac, old school Cadillac Sedan DeVille that I bought at the auction. I was able to trade him because he thought this motor was knocking. Come to find out it was the timing cover in the car itself. Was able to replace the timing cover, the timing chain. So I got all that stuff replaced. Car bounced back. Um, then again, like I said, the windshield thing happened and it was all downhill from there. So I will be bringing this back. It needs a lot of work now. Um, the new windshield's coming. Uh, I have, like I said, the hoods in the building, and I also have uh, the other set of wheels. The wheels that are on here now were actually from, and I'll put another picture in, from my other Mustang that I had uh, that I got rid of. It was a V6 Mustang, and these wheels are all right, but, um, you know, this is pretty much all the projects that I got going now. Uh, towards the end, you'll see just a little snippet of something else, and I'll put it in there. Of something to come I'm not gonna actually show you guys yet so you'll have to wait stay tuned follow me so if you like the content like subscribe and follow tell your friends tell your mama tell everybody all right y'all peace
behind me, yes, behind me is a $1 boat. It literally costs $1 plus fees from the auction. $1. Somebody <laughs> thought it would be funny <laughs> to actually bid $1 on the boat. The boat had this, nothing, no trailer, nada, zip zilch, nada. Yeah, the auction thought it would also be funny to award uh, Marshall with the actual boat. So then we had to figure out transportation and things like that. Uh, we had a company lined up. Uh, we kind of drug our feet on it, which I'm glad. We actually found another company that was off-season that was a lot cheaper. It was about 600 bucks to get this towed down. They actually had an air trailer. They were able to bring it up, drop it down on the supports and everything, and leave it here. Uh, but story time is, don't bid on anything that you can't take home because this is a big example. As you can see, this thing is huge. Maybe one day we'll be out on the water on it. We'll see. We're trying to get these projects done. Um, like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, for the next project you want to see me start working on, um, and we'll go from there.